a release from sin and its consequences. His death was in exchange for our life. In fact, scripture is quite clear that redemption is only possible through his blood and that is by his death. The streets of heaven will be filled with former captives who through no merit of their own find themselves redeemed, forgiven, and free. Yeah, yeah. Slaves to sin have become saints. No wonder we will we will sing a new, sing a song of, sing a new song of, a song of praise to our Redeemer who was slain. We were slaves to sin, condemned but to eternal separation from God. Jesus paid the price to redeem us, resulting in our freedom from slavery to sin, and our rescue from the from the eternal consequences of that sin. Ephesians one. Verse 7 gives us a good idea of what redemption is, and it is in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace. Our redemption must be must come from the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Or there is no possibility of, of the forgiveness of sins. The price to redeem ourselves is beyond our reach, but not so with God. It, it comes from the riches of his grace, which are infinite. It is in him we have that we have redemption, and it is through his blood by, by which redeemed is achieved. Romans 3, verses 23 to, to 25. For all have sinned and fall short of God's glory, and are justified by his grace as a gift. Through the redemption that is in Christ, whom God put forward as a propitiation by His blood, to receive, by, to be received by faith. This was to show God's righteousness, because in His divine forbearance, He had passed over for, former sins. This is part. This is part of the so-called Roman road to salvation. The Book of Romans show that that the, showed the sinner that they can never be good enough to make it into the kingdom because even one of us is good and every single one of us falls infinitely short of God's glory. Jesus said, no one is, is good except God alone. And that includes you and I. Yes. Thankfully, God has passed over our sins due to applying the blood of the lamb on the yes. doorposts and lintels of our hearts. Christ's redemption has freed us from guilt, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Jesus Christ. The benefits of redemption include eternal life, forgiveness of sins, righteousness, freedom from the law's, freedom from the law's curse, adoption into God's family, deliverance from sin's bondage, peace with God, and indwelling of the Holy Spirit. To be redeemed, then is to be forgiven, holy, justified, free, adopted, reconciled. I don't know about you, but I think, I think that, I think God that I am redeemed. That's all God right. bless all you. Right. And peace be with you. Yes, yes, yes. My name is Damon Banks Jr., and I pray this word has blessed you. Amen. Point your hands in this direction, and we're going to ask you, Pastor, if she would offer a prayer. But are you, Pastor, to offer a prayer? To, uh, and we, I don't ask if a youth leader can come and stand by her side, amen. Because this is a youth man, don't you know the enemy is going to try to attack him for, on two accounts one because he's young, and other because he's a male, and the male carries the seat. Come on. And the male is supposed to leave. Come on. Rightfully so. Yeah. So the devil will want to come and cancel that out. How about he's a liar? All day. Praise God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come just thank you, God. We come just praising you, God. We thank you for this young man, Father God, yes, that you God. have called to carry your word, Father God. For you say many are chosen, Father God. I mean, many are called, but only few are chosen, God. And we thank you for this chosen vessel, God. We ask that you continue to just bless him, God. Touch him from the crown of his head, Father God, to the sole of his feet, Father God. 
put a word in his belly, Father God, to spit forward everywhere hey, he go, God. Let him be able to speak amen. it in the school, Father amen. God. Let him be able to be looked at as different, Father God, because he's carrying something special that you have given to him, Father God. Let him be a blessing to his household, Father God. Let him be a blessing to his family members, God. The young ones, let him come to him, Father God, and say, what must we do, Father God? Let him be, give a word that will save somebody, yeah. Father God. Young, old alike, Father God. Even today, Father God, let the word that he spoke touch somebody heart, Father God, to let them know that they need to come back to you, Father God. We just thank you because we trust you, God. And we know that you are worthy, God. We thank you. We lift you up, God. We lift him up, God. Let no weapon that try to form, Father God, be able to prosper, God. Build a fence all around them, Father God. A shield of protection, Father God. Let his light shine everywhere that he goes, God. We just thank you, God, in advance, God. You showed yourself through him through the healing process, God. And once you heal him, Father God, he knew. He knew, he knew, Father God, that he had to come into you, that he heard your voice, God. And we just thank you, God. Let his parents, Father God, be blessed by this seed, God. Let his household, Father God, be blessed by this seed, God. Let his brothers and sisters, God, be blessed by this seed, God. We just thank you, Jesus. We just thank you, Jesus. We just thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're worthy, God. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, God. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy, God. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. Amen. If you believe that the Lord has indeed called this young man to speak and to carry his word, can you say amen? Amen. Anyone who disagrees, praise God. Little children have done belong to you. Little children have done belong to you. Little children. to the altar with me. Little children And the enemy has stolen from you. I want you to know, at my church, I'm going to be preaching on a series that's called, Help, the Devil's Trying to Rob Me. And it's not a one-time message. It's going to be stretched out. Amen. We're at 2738 North 2nd Street. We're on this building and our church sanctuary is at 2738 North 2nd Street, 2nd and Lehigh Avenue. The Spirit of God moved us to come back to the first place to be a blessing in the community amen, again. Amen. We thank God for the school yes. because it's a blessing. This is ours. And we are the church of the living God. And we love you. We love this community. We love the people of this community. We didn't come to receive. We came to give. Glory to God. Because that's what Jesus did. But if you are sick and tired of being sick and tired. Sick and tired of the devil messing with you. Sick and tired of him getting in your head. Sick and tired of him discouraging you. And trying to take you off your square. This is the healing room today. This is a transforming room. This is where your life can be transformed. The journey of a thousand miles begin with the first step. And all God asks for you is to believe in him enough to take a first step. 
He doesn't ask for you to cut your arm off, your leg, your head. He just wants your heart. And if he got your heart, everything else come with it. Amen. All God wants you to do is to trust him enough to fix your problem. Trust him enough to heal your body. Trust him enough to bring you back up to where you have fallen down. Just trust God. If you're tired of being hurt all the time. Anybody here tired of being hurt all the time? Sick and tired of it. How about turning that hurt into heal? Amen. This is your opportunity to feel the true love of God. See, man will love you sometime and put you down the next time. Yes. But God will never drop you. That's for sure. He will never let you down. Yes. We want the singers to sing what the Lord put on their heart. And if you have a need, I'm telling you, everybody somewhere got a need. As long as we in this here, this borrowed tomb, this ain't nothing but a borrowed tomb. One day we're going to rise up from it. But in the meantime, it comes with trouble. But I'm so glad trouble don't last always. There is a remedy. I want a strong man to help me down. My nephew, the deacon. On the board of seven, come around here and help me down. So I can go down where the people are, step in the water. I don't want to fall now. I don't want to fall. I'm getting old. I'll just break. I want you to know, if you're here today, and you want God to do something special just for you, there is something special with your name written on that. If you're tired of your pillow being wet with tears, I want you to know that there is a healing for you. God loves you more than you can even imagine. But he lets you go through some things to make you what he wants you to be. you got to go through that stuff. There is no bypass room. But when he's going through with you, it doesn't hurt the same. So I implore you to give God a chance. Now, you've already delivered. You don't need to come on up. You need to be on the praying end. Point your hands and pray that God will help love on somebody else. Amen. I want you to come and give God a chance. You don't try it your way. Oh, how did that work? You tried it your way. How did that work? Didn't work too good, did it? Yes, today. We're here today, but we're not going to be here next Sunday. We're going to be at our church. But you're here on the outside, and I don't care if you're in your houses, in your rooms, wherever. Yes, yes. If you're under the sound of my voice, God is calling you for your deliverance. Amen, amen. He said, the day that you hear my voice, harden not your yes. heart. And so if you were here, and you just want to feel a little teaspoon of God's true love. Amen. We invite you to yes. come and receive from the Lord. Yes, yes. There is a blessing with your name on it. Yes. Ah, hallelujah. Jesus. I was a wretch and done, living in a world of sin. Hallelujah. Had no hope, no Happy peace within. Day. Somebody told me what Jesus did. Said he gave his life, died for my sins. Now I'm justified. I'm sanctified. I glorify. His holy name. Hallelujah. Come to Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Come to Jesus. Right now.
to become a member of the Church you of the Living make God. make that bottle in service. Now, I don't have nothing against St. Paul, St. Mary, and St. John. But if I'm going to join the church, I would want one with God's name on it. <laughs> and we're going to walk that way.
God is love. When we say I love you, that means I guard you. And God is complete. <laughs> God is complete. We don't even have to know what's going on with you. And we can say, I love you. And give you God. You can't have nothing better than God. Because God don't make nothing chunky and sloppy. He is complete. I love him and ain't nothing you can do to make me not love you. Nothing. There's nothing you can do to make me not love you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Because God is all powerful. There ain't nobody like him. Is there anybody like him? No. Is there anybody like him? No. Is there anybody like him? No. No, 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 no. Ain't nobody like my God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ain't nobody like him. Ain't nobody do me like Jesus. Ain't nobody do me like Jesus. Church. 